Hello everyone, hope you're having the awesomest of days today. Welcome to the Film Insight channel. In today's video, we're going to get into a list of some of the best shutdowns on Bar Rescue. So sit back, relax, and without further ado, let's get into the content guys! Useless Owner Oftentimes, especially on Bar Rescue, most of the owners are either insufferably bad people or they're just hopeless at managing a business. Much like one owner in a season 5 episode called Don't Tell Mom The Bar Is Dead, who only knows how to make the business lose money. Losing over 4,000 US dollars a month and only being the owner for just shy over a year, he's incredibly useless. As mentioned in the episode, there's more to him than just killing a business. He's also a leech who makes his mother pay for the rent. The same mother who he inherited the business from, which he put her blood, sweat and tears into to build up. With all this horribly juicy backstory on the table, you can already tell that it was the perfect recipe to make John Taffer rage. Taffer first starts by getting in his face about how terrible of an owner he is, like usual, but then he talks about how he sent his assistant into the kitchen and it gets really heated. Apparently, aside from the kitchen being very dirty, the owner smokes freely, not washing his hands while cutting food, and well, they had to shut down the kitchen for this reason. The best part is when Taffer starts screaming and embarrassing the guy in front of everyone, exposing how he's 35000 in debt and how the business will be closing next month. I can't imagine how embarrassed this guy must have been, since even the customers at his bar were going in on him. Though it's kind of deserved when he cares so little about anything. Misogynistic man. The worst trait anyone can have is to be unnecessarily prejudiced to someone for how they look or what gender they have. People should without a doubt be only judged as individuals and not be put into a box because of the things they can't control. But none of that matters to the owner in a season 4 episode called Mandela Down, whose name is Greg Hawkins. He has a lot of extremely offensive things to say about women, essentially calling them useless and only good for looking attractive. This of course really enraged John Taffer's friend Mia, who is a really good bartender and also a woman. I know, impossible. Jokes aside, they had the perfect plan in mind to completely embarrass this piece of garbage, and it's complete gold. First, Taffer takes Hawkins aside to make him repeat the offensive things he had to say as his friend Mia lurks in the distance. Then he calls her over and asks him if he still thinks that women can't bartend faster than him, and just watch how flustered he gets. I have no. Oh yeah, I, I haven't, I have- <laughs> Hilarious, but to make him even more embarrassed, they make him go head to head with Mia so she can show him he's not the hotshot he thinks he is. She completely puts him in his place by not only making drinks faster than him, but much more aesthetically pleasing. A moment like this has to be one of the best on the show because nothing's better than putting people like this in their place. Really dumb. In a hilarious season 6 episode called John and Bird Bought a Bar, we get the chance to meet the real life replicas of Dumb and Dumber. Not only do both of these men take so incredibly long to cook, they haven't cleaned their kitchen since opening it, which is really disgusting. Hungry, John goes into the kitchen with his professional chef friend to see what was going on and it's so funny what they find. Taffer finds the owner struggling to cook some burgers as the grill lights up with large flames charring the meat with it. Obviously Taffer wanted to get an explanation as to why his grill was on fire so he just straight up asked and this is the answer that he got. Too, I guess too hot. <laughs> you guess what? It's too hot. Was he being stupid or just trying to lie through his teeth? I don't know but it's incredibly entertaining to watch how panicky he gets. Because he was getting so pressured by Taffer's anger, he started telling him a bunch of lies like how he doesn't serve burgers like that to customers when he very much does and did the night before. This really pushed the host off the edge and he started getting mad at the guy in the most John Taffer way possible. He starts to throw plates around and fling uncooked meat onto the floor as he screams about how much of a dumb liar he is. Within moments, he hilariously tells him to pick up after himself even though Taffer was the one who made the mess in the first place. I'm quite surprised with how these two idiots were able to turn their failure into success in the end, with their bar having positive reviews to this day. Just like teenagers. It's a sad fact, but some people remain immature and childish even as they grow into their adulthood. People who don't know how to control their emotions might just resort to violence and take it out on others. Like the owner of the Triple Nickel Tavern named JJ Gruder, who's not dealing with the death of practically most of his immediate family in the best way possible. Rather than live on happily for the sake of his loved ones, things really went downhill for him and his business. Having opened a bar with his best friend Randy from high school, he started to get in a lot of unnecessary fights with him and turned his bar into some punk rock clubhouse. Things were in a desperate need of change and John Taffer was willing to help if he would comply with what he suggested. There aren't many times in the show where Taffer genuinely wants to leave but in this episode it came pretty damn close. Since Gruder was mentally unstable, he would often lash out on his friend in violent ways, which Taffer caught him doing. 
He embarrassed his friend in front of everyone as they fought like teenagers and he pushed him onto the ground. Though Taffer wasn't having it and he ran right in to give Gruder a taste of his own medicine. Throwing stuff around including some water in his face, he shouts at him to get on the floor like his friend or he wouldn't save his bar. At first he tries to act like some tough guy but soon he gets on the ground as his customer starts to chant for him to get on the floor. It's embarrassing but he deserves it. Dirty Red The Iron House, a bar that appeared in a 2017 episode, had some major problems with their staff. Owned by a Navy veteran named Joe Scott, he mistakenly decided to put his unqualified friend Michael to be in charge of his business. What's more, the bartender and the head chef are extremely careless in how they handle their job, it's absolutely ridiculous. For one, the cook who has the lovely nickname, Dirty Red, curses every single time he gets an order and clearly doesn't want to do his job. Sometimes he'll be caught going outside to smoke and coming back in to touch the food without even washing his hands. He'll touch raw meat like chicken with gloves and keep using them as he touches other things which is incredibly unsanitary and potentially dangerous. Although one of the worst but also the funniest things that was caught on a hidden camera was him walking around naked in the kitchen. Supposedly when he's supposed to be doing his work, he'll sometimes go at his leisure to take a shower which is kind of disgusting. As a result of this, Scott is losing five to six thousand dollars a month putting him in a crippling debt. So this should make it clear that Taffer really had to go off on multiple people including the Navy veteran. He screams at the bartender for not washing his hands enough, reprimands Michael for not knowing how to run a business, and puts Scott in his place for being ignorant about what's going on. Dirty Red gets him to shut down too, but from Taffer's friend who tells him how much of an idiot he is for not cleaning stuff because he can't do everything. What an episode. Grumpy Irishman For another 2017 episode, Taffer goes in to save a bar called the Lucky Leprechaun which is run by an incredibly grumpy Irishman named Terry. Supposedly, he wasn't always this way since way back in 2010, his loving wife George Ann convinced him to purchase it with her. Though, there were a lot of unforeseen issues with the building which cost them a lot of money to fix, over $60,000 of their own money in fact. Clearly, this drained them of a lot of money and the couple started to see less eye to eye than they used to. While Terry saw the negative, George Ann saw the positive. This of course had a strain on their marriage since Terry was no longer the happy-go-lucky man that he used to be. Now, him not being around in the bar is a joyous occasion to the Lucky Leprechaun staff which should be a signal that things needed to change. Normally Terry just goes around yelling at either employees or his customers and will hustle people on the pool tables. He does this whenever he's in the mood which is very frequently, despite the fact that it's illegal to do so. Taffer is obviously appalled by Terry's incredibly irresponsible actions and he goes completely off on him. Instead of reporting his misdemeanor to the police like he should have, he screams at the man forcing him to give the money back to the people he stole from. Like usual, he tries to put up a verbal fight but clearly Taffer is the more dominant man and puts him in his place. Terry simply gives the money back from the customer he stole from but the fun doesn't end there. The man needed some more embarrassment to change his ways so the bar rescue host says in front of everyone that his wife thinks that he's a failure. So good. Well that will be all for today's video here on the channel. I do hope you enjoyed and if you did, be sure to drop a massive like down below and comment your thoughts. Subscribe for more content like this and put on those sweet bell notifications for instant access to our content. Have a good one guys!